Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Welcome to Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim. Uh, I'm back at it again doing another Pure Cosmetics uh, review and this is the product that I will be reviewing today. It is not the Soiree Diaries eyeshadow palette, which I reviewed in my very first YouTube video ever. If you want to check that out, it's pretty cringy, but it's down there. So if you do want to check that out, my very first video was on Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries, which is a 12 piece eyeshadow set. Today I have their Contour Diaries, which is a six uh, piece uh, contour palette. So I haven't unboxed it. It's still fresh in its box. Um, so I'll be doing that and then I'll be applying it to my face. I just have foundation on and concealer and I've set my face, but I do not have any bronzer, contour, anything like that. I think bronzer and contour are probably one of my favorite products other than foundation and mascara. If you want to see this review, just keep on watching. And if you like this video, feel free to like it. And if you wanna see more of my content, just subscribe. It's that easy. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, so Pure Cosmetics Contour Diaries Ultra Matte Contour Palette. This is what it looks like here. It is marble packaging, just like Soiree Diaries. Here's the back of the palette. I did purchase this from Shoppers Drug Mart, and it lists the shade names and gives you a little quick rundown on the back. Just flipping over to the back of the palette, it just says, Pure is opening up our diary and sharing our makeup secrets with you. Why are they referring to pure, pure like it's a person? But anyway, with this palette, you too can sculpt and define your makeup story with six blendable shades. Can one compact keep your beauty secrets and help you create dreamy good looks? This, that secret is safe with us. Wink. Yeah, it literally says wink. And the six shades are called Charm, Secret, Dream, Passion, Flirt, and Mystery. By the way, if you like my eye look, uh, I just recently filmed a video. Actually, I just filmed a video. I, it'll probably be posted, though, before this one um, on the Stila Liquid Eyeshadow. Um, so if you want to check that out, it will be in my video. So yeah, check that out. It's a really cool glitter liquid eyeshadow, and I really like the look that we came up with. So check it out. The Contour Diaries Palette Ultra Matte Contour Kit is retailing for $32 on purecosmetics.com. It says that this uh, these shades are versatile and so they fit for all skin tones. Pure products are 100% cruelty free and they do not test on animals. And it says while the FDA has approved the use of parabens as an effective preserver system, they do not use any parabens in their products and their product is also vegan. And it also says that if you have a severe gluten sensitivity, that these products are gluten free. Surprise, surprise, it is a marble packaging and it is like a book. So it's kind of like a diary. So these are the six shades here. Comes with a mirror as well. Um, yeah, it's a really nice little, little palette. It's a nice big mirror too, which is nice. So this shade here is Secret. This is Passion, Mystery, Charm dream and flirt all right so i'm going to swatch the shade so first we have charm here dream right here then we have flirt secret passion and mystery here all right so impressions on swatching swatching isn't everything however they're a little bit chalky there was a lot of kickback and it just felt really dusty and also the contour shades are super warm and i'm a little scared i'm gonna look like a little uh orange ball. Alas, we are here to test it out and I'm here to save you money and to help you make better decisions with your life. So I'm going to take one for the team and apply this to my face. So first I'm going to go in and apply um, the light shade underneath my eyes and then we will go in and contour the face. And this is the shade Dream, that yellowy undertone one. And just going down the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead. I do have powder on, but I do not have any highlight on. So, quick note, this looks absolutely terrible underneath my eyes. Like, like literally terrible. It looks so patchy and dry under there now. I am not a fan. So you are nice and close here, and it just looks so bad. Not even creasing, it's just yellow pigment clumping. Yeah, uh, and I always apply it this way. I'm trying to blend it out. Rack zoomed out. I'm gonna apply the contour shades very hesitantly. Gonna go in with a contour brush here. It's just a slanted brush from 
uh, bamboo naturals that I got at Winners or if you're in the States, kind of like Marshalls. Uh, I'm going to go in with that shade Mystery, which is the darker brown one right here. Tap off the excess, which is a lot. And going under here. Ugh. Ugh. I'm going on my forehead. Oh, it's so bad. I'm going underneath my chin. I'm trying to blend it out. We're contoured, but I would say that is like a really orangey shade. It also is super chalky. The kickback was crazy and it's like, it's just not cute. That's as good as it's gonna get, I think. I'm going to contour my nose with this shade. Mystery again. Oh, I'm blending it out with a big fluffy brush. It's just too red. Like the ready undertones under it, the warmth of this um, contour is just too warm. So then it, if you contour areas that have like a little bit of redness or um, don't even have redness, it just makes them look warmer. And so like the red is really picking up in my nose and it just is not cute. It's very obvious and it doesn't look natural. Okay, let's go in with that warm shade and uh, bronze up. So this is Passion here. It is a bronzy, um, warmer shade as they're all warm. But I am, oh, the kickback is so bad. I'm gonna brush, tap off that excess and I'm gonna go in and warm up my cheeks. And my forehead. Just getting a little bit more on the brush. It's patchy guys. It's really patchy. I'm gonna apply some highlight even though I'm not going anywhere. I just want to make myself feel a little bit better. I hate this. Um, it looks super patchy and my foundation was looking really good before this. Kind of sad that it's looking terrible. Luckily it's like midnight right here so not going anywhere. I'm gonna be applying a highlight from the Sephora um, Illuminate palette which I absolutely love. Reviewed this last week and um, Highly recommend you check out that video because this is a great um, highlighting palette. All right, so we are highlighted. Um, even this doesn't really save the look, but just wanted to make myself feel better, okay? Let's go to my final thoughts. All right, guys, I think you can kind of figure out what I'm already thinking right now about this contour palette. So this Pure Cosmetics contour palette here is definitely and not my favorite. Ugh. The kickback is crazy, they are super powdery, um, the shades are not good for contouring, like none of them are really that uh, uh, that gray undertone cool brown that you need for contouring. Under eye shades or highlighting shades are super drying and powdery and they made my nose look terrible. And I'm wearing my like tried and true RCMA foundation which I absolutely love and everything usually applies super smoothly over top of it. So I can say for a fact that this is a terrible contour palette. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this palette because it is way too late to return it, unfortunately, to Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, so I would recommend you save your money. I'm just taking out, like looking at this thing and it just makes me mad. Um, yeah, definitely save your money. Do not buy this product. I do not recommend. That's it for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video even though it was a complete fail and I'm really sad that it is this bad. I saw some, I saw a review about it and it said it was a little bit powdery, but I did not expect this much powderiness and these terrible shades. So, hmm. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, just click that subscribe button. I put out um, a couple videos a week. I am a university student uh, doing professional school and also working um, on the weekends. So I am a little bit busy, but I try to put out videos as much as I can. I really enjoy doing this. I just really appreciate you watching and I hope that you had fun. Um, if you'd like to be connected with me on social media, um, my social media handles will be right here and they'll also be linked down below. Any other products that I used on my face will be in the description box. Um, ask me any questions though if you do have any. And again, this uh, glitter eyeshadow look that I have right here is on a previous video. So if you want to look through my videos and also the eyeliner, I did some videos. Check out all my videos. Check them all out. It's cool. Really appreciate you watching again. Uh, wherever you are, I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you very soon.